areas that we worked we worked on essentially the sculptures were the temples. This part of the side part of the cheek, the jawbone, and down over here. We filled those areas. And just by the way, I have one treatment of sculpture as well in those very same areas, and then the hyaluronic acid fillers rest them on top of that as well. Um, so you can see a natural look doesn't feel very altered from the initial pictures. I'll pull up some of the initial pictures. The risk factor of lumps, we were asked. Uh, we need, it said that we have to massage. Uh, do you remember massaging? Uh, it's, it's really interesting when you have to massage your face um, five times a day, five days. And you, you just sort of, when you wake up in the morning, you do it at night, and you just sort of set your clock, and just sort of do it on a regular basis. And it's just basically just rubbing it with a little bit of cream and just kind of moving things around. Um, in the beginning, you can still feel some of the treatment, but uh, generally it's, it's, it's pretty benign as far as what you're doing. It's absolutely, it's easy, it's five minutes of massage, five times a day for five days, five rule. And the reason for it is not only to activate the collagen, which it does, because you're stimulating, but if you think about it, the polylactic acid, the PLA molecules are like sand. We mix the sand with water, we inject it in, now there's fine sand dispersed in areas of the face. If it clumps, then it will grow collagen in a clump fashion. And yes, there is a risk of lumping. And in the early days of sculpture, there were lumps. So the massage is to spread it smoothly so that the collagen will develop smoothly rather than clumped. It's something we want to avoid. Good question. We do avoid lumps and the massage is key. And we instruct people and it's easy. It's got to be injected in the right place at the right depth, not too deep on work, not too shallow before lumping and in the right place. We try to avoid right in the moving areas around the mouth, which is movement, will tend to clump it. And you know, you move, and that's often how lumps form around here, in other products as well, where they do clump. But when you're sitting there, he's very good at keeping it away from your eyes. I find it's like, you go to the dentist, and he's very good at injecting it without you really seeing it. I think it was fine. We mix, firstly we, put a little bit of local anesthetic onto the injection site. There's about four per each side. And we numb them first. Then we mix the sculpture with lidocaine. The sand powder is mixed with lidocaine, reconstituted, and actually has lidocaine built in. And then, you know, the freezy pack goes on. Nice and numb tackle. The needle goes through. You feel the first part of that. As the sculpture flows, it's numbing as it goes. And actually, you're numb for a few hours afterwards in areas. It makes it easier to massage if it's numb. When the numbness wears off, it's a little bit tender massaging, but it's doable. And after the third, fourth day, you can really vigorously massage. This is good for two years, is it? Yes, with three treatments usually of sculpture. Each treatment produces an effect, but optimal is usually three treatments, a month or two apart, two months often to allow time to grow. And then when it's good, when the effect is there, that effect will probably last two to three years. And uh, in some longer and some shorter, depending on how much you make collagen yourself and how much you break it down. So athletes, super athletes might break it down a bit quicker. Uh, the older you are, the more immune suppressed you are, the more, the less collagen you might make. How long does it take to grow? To grow one to three months, up to six. For maximum. So I left mine, I've actually left mine for eight months and I'm probably going to have another one. You don't know exactly what the end result is and because it's subtle, it's okay. It's not going to suddenly grow a huge hole. You're not putting it in lips or lips. You know, it's going to be a subtle filling of hollows and tightening and lifting, um, which is usually very pleasing. Uh, but you don't exactly know what the end point is. You do it and you hope and wait for a good result and then you do it again and again. And, uh, some people will come once a year for one bar, just as a top up, you know, or wait until they think they need a bit more and then they'll do a bit more. Others say, I want the maximum, give me a month, three treatments, in six months, two vials each time.